I, uh, I was Googling today because I'm about to actually edit uh, an event in iMovie. It's actually this one over here. I'm finally going to put up the WWDC Part 3 iPhone bit because I finally put it on my laptop. But I was Googling today trying to find default, lo uh, trying to change the default location in iMovie uh, 09, which is what I use. And back up on the main screen now, I, I, I saw a lot of uh, answers and most of them didn't strike me as good. The only things I could see to play with with was in the P list uh, here, changing the uh, default directory or any of that. There is actually no need to come in here, uh, play in these scary looking P lists, try to find the right iMovie P list, iMovie, iMovie 7, iMovie 8. Which one am I going to use? No, you do not need any of that. We can just close that. All you need is one back up to me, an external hard drive. I use a one terabyte Western Digital. Very nice to me. Hope it's Western Digital. And all you need here is an iMovie Events folder and an iMovie Projects folder. Yes, they can be aliases. As you can see, mine are up here. Mine are aliases. All you need is the iMovie Events and iMovie Projects folder on the on the root or on the base of the external hard drive you want to save to or the hard drive or the external volume you want to save to, <coughs> excuse me save to as you can see by by root screen i mean the screen that if you're in uh view icon view you can see here this is the first screen that you'll see and that an iMovie events <coughs> sorry and an iMovie projects folder are there on the root so go ahead pause the video and make them now great back with us now what we see down here in iMovie 09 if we go project library here I'm down here now project library we see that because we have an extra hard drive plugged in we have Macintosh HD which is what my hard drive is called and all the iMovie projects on here and then two other volumes first of all we can go up and just hide Macintosh HD and we'll open my terabyte hard drive which I called jquine underscore one terabyte because that's my name um, <clears throat> we have here all of the events that are in this folder the iMovie projects folder if we go into here all of these events sorry about my spaces are being seen right here now the way to uh, I, I reckon change the default save location it's very simple all you have to do is make sure that either the external volume you want is opened as in here this icon right here this triangle is clicked down so it's facing down or there is a blue bar as you can see here over the name of your volume then all you have to do is go either file new project or command n call it whatever you like we'll call it YouTube test. Uh, you can't spell tonight. YouTube test. We'll click widescreen because that's what YouTube is. And then create. And as you can see, we're taken into the uh, project editor here. But we'll go back to project library and look at that. YouTube test. And where is it? Keep going. It is in that external volume. It's in my external hard drive. I hope this help you. Ha helps you in your search to change the default save location but all you really need is an iMovie iMovie events and an iMovie projects projects folder on the root or on the root or the base on the home home screen if you want to call it the root of your external hard drive hope I haven't been too complicated and I hope this helps you in your search for iMovie enlightenment thanks for watching